So uh, today's video is kind of a kind of a twofer. Um, I'm going to talk one about tools that you can use as alternatives to a Dremel tool. Um, Dremel tools don't have much power. Um, I one day was was using a, a carbide cutter to, to grind some steel and, and the, the Dremel tool was bogging down because the carbide to, uh, cutter was so aggressive. Um, um, I, I came to my realization that I have a rotary tool and a roto zip that will uh, that has a lot more power, uh, about five times, at least four times the amount of power. Um, and I, I used it for a good while, um, especially on the carbide uh, cutters, uh, to uh, to make you know tight cuts, you know cuts in, in steel uh, or grinding, if you will. It's, it's actually cutting; it's not grinding the steel. Um, and then one day, I had a, 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 a situation where I wanted to use this flat bit. And as you see, the shank, that's not how it comes. I, I stuck this in, into my rotor zip since it has more power, turned it on, and, and within a, a second, the bit just bent over. And, it, you know, at that point, it, it's, it's spinning completely out of true, and it burned up the motor on my, on my rotor zip. This is a bit that I picked up at probably a flea market. I don't know, I, I've had it for years. Uh, something I, I saw, it's like, oh, I might have a use for that someday. And kind of the, the tale that I'm trying to tell you is be cautious. Um, be cautious where you save money. You buy a, a cheap, crappy bit it might not just be the bit that's at risk, it might be your tool. Um, a lot of these rotary tools run at very high speed and you know, I'm sure many of you have had a, a wheel. Actually, the winter is a good example. So if you've driven with snow, you get a little frozen snow on one side of your wheel, you start driving down the road and you have a lot of vibration. Well, it's because the wheel's out of bounds. <laughs> well, when a light duty tool like this is not I wouldn't call this a heavy duty tool as something like this running this far out of true we're talking about a lot of vibration so it, 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 it can destroy your tool um, you know probably a dollar bit 50 cent bits and who knows what I spent but something in that realm I'm sure I thought it was a good deal and uh, you know I, I'm, my memory is this is around eighty dollars for this um, at least seventy dollars for this tool. So, um, most expensive cheap bit I've ever bought. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you next time.